In this video, I'm going to show you how you convert the .ts file format to a .mp4 video file format. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will show you how to step by step uh, do what you see in this video. Let's first open up the VLC media player. Now I'm using Ubuntu Mate, so your system may be different the way you open it. Once you get the VLC media player open, then click on the media. Uh, menu at the top, click on the convert and save. When the open media dialog box appears, click on the add so that you can, you can choose your video. In this case, I'm going to choose a tree frog video that someone from my family recorded years ago and sent it to me, and it had the TS file extension. Uh, click onto it and hit open. Now, when you hit open, it's not going to open it in the media player to play it. Here's going to be so that you can convert it. Now, since we have the file selected here, we want to click the convert and save. Now, here's where we have our source file there's the source file we want to make sure that the setting is to on convert and we want to choose a profile if one is not selected since we're converting it to mp4 i want to choose the top one there's other different formats you can choose like if you're wanting to upload a high definition file to uh, youtube you can choose like the bottom and there's other uh, choices you have here there's also if you want to make some configuration changes you can click this button here and go through and choose a different type of format you can see here you can choose to choose the video uh, codec you want the audio codec you want uh, in this case I'm going to hit cancel I'm not going to save I'm just going to use the default option in the menu uh, before we hit convert or to start we got to browse to choose a destination file that we want this file to be converted to and a location so we hit the browse button I want to put it in my videos folder I don't want it to overwrite the original file and plus it's not going to have the extension TS so I want to put the extension mp4 so I'm going to keep it the same file name as tree underscore frog dot mp4 because the original is dot ts. I'm going to hit the save button. Now here's our original file and source. This is we're going to convert it. This is the profile that we're going to choose. And here's our destination file with the actual name. So we want to hit start and it's going to go across and convert this file. If you've got a very large file or like a movie with a TS extension, it will take a longer time to convert. Now we'll go to our original folder. We want to go to videos. As you can see here, here's the TS file extension and here's the MP4. Let's open up our media info to compare the two uh, files. So I'm going to open up the MP4 with the media info. So I'm going to pull this over. I'm going to open up the other one come compare the two. Here's the one with the TS extension. It's 33.7 megabytes. The original video is an MPEG video. The audio stream is MPEG audio. Uh, and there's the uh, video description and audio description. Here's the MPEG-4, which you can see the output is 17.5 megabytes, almost half the size of the original file, which is 33.7. As you can see here, the audio stream, and it does have the MP, it's AVC audio video stream, and the audio stream is MPEG audio. Now, if you do want to change the audio to like AAC or AAC3, that's where you can go to the configure file. And let me show you how to do that one more time. Let's go back into our uh, VLC media player. I'm going to choose to convert and save. It's the same TS file which I have here, so I don't need to hit the add button because it's uh, I never closed the media player, a uh, VLC media player down. So I want to hit the convert and save. Now where I chose the MP4 uh, at the top of the list while I go, since it had the uh, MPEG audio file, I want to go to the audio codec and I want to uncheck keep the original audio track and see the original track was MPEG audio so I can choose the drop down and I like to use the AAC now if it's a if it's surround sound and I'm going to play it on my uh, surround sound I would choose the AC3 for my Dolby digital audio but for my typical computer I use the AAC so that way I can choose an audio codec of my choice and I can also choose a video codec of my choice by unticking or unchecking the keep the original video file and choosing the codec H264 now I want to save these changes and now I want to browse and this time I'm going to choose tree frog mp4 but I'm going to call it tree frog 2 because the original file was that I converted was tree frog so I want to say hit save I want to hit start and it's going to go through and convert it and this time I'm going to close my uh, imp, uh, video VLC down here's my first MPEG 4 which if I use my media info pull it over here's the tree frog 2 media info 
And as you can see here, using the Edit Configure button, you can change it to where your audio uh, stream codec is different than the default. So the default was the MPEG audio, which is the ABC is basically the same, but the audio is MPEG audio here, and I chose to go into Configure and chose the AAC audio. So you have multiple configurations that you can change. You don't even have to choose the MP4. You can change it to an MKV or at other formats of your choice. Now VLC is a free program that you can download from the internet. It supports multiple platforms for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And like I said earlier, if you found the video on YouTube, I have all the step-by-step -step instructions that you can go through and follow them so you don't have to pause the video if you want to convert one file format to another. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.